happening everybody welcome back to the vlog we're gearing up for another crazy day here at the tree house slash the new house and i'm gonna vent a little bit but um we're just we're just getting rocking and rolling i need some coffee right now beautiful gorgeous morning um got the itch oh my gosh i have the itch to get into the into the deer woods literally had two bucks that have been fighting over here at the side yard at the tree house there's freaking bucks and does just running wild over at the other house and i'm just moving boxes and doing things so it's been it's been frustrating all right mm. Mm -hmm. it's been a minute guys i've been off at a guggen week there was an election that took place last week. Any of you dads out there, people with responsibilities and dependents, a little bit of weight just came off the shoulders. Everyone's excited. We've been having showings on this house every day. People are like, oh, okay, election's over. Now I'm feeling good. I wanna go house shopping. And we've just had to leave our home basically every day. The really funky part about our situation right now is Amy's in school in this town and we're moving to another town so we kind of have to hang around here keep the place you know nice for showings and about an hour and a half we're gonna enter our 50th showing I don't know why we haven't been able to sell this house to someone. Everyone comes here like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, look at the look at look at the animals, look at the trees, oh well, look at all the trails, it's so cool. We're like, yeah, I know, it's amazing, right? You know? Um, but you really, 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 you have to like the outdoors. And I I've told a couple of people that I'm like, if your kids don't like the outdoors, you're not gonna like it here. We don't have a ton of living space inside. Like it's a very you know, quirky, like, it's a cabin. It's basically a cabin, which I love. You know, me and Stephanie love that style, but a lot of people don't. We've had this uh, this monkey on our back, um, currently paying two mortgages. Anyway, I just wanted to be honest with you guys about that, because it has been stressing me out. Um, I haven't been sleeping well at all. Been losing weight. I have I've been extremely fortunate in in my in my life my career, um, especially after having my brain tumor. I, I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but um, I just told myself like I'm not going to stress little things after that because <laughs> it, it can cause you to have to get all sorts of diseases. Like stressing yourself out can be really 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 bad, and uh, and and I've kind of live by that and I've had this great attitude and um you know I try to express that in a lot of my videos um but here lately guys it has been tough perfect example to hey buddy last week uh at the even at the new house this is just home stuff but go to turn on the hot water we, we've been in the house like a couple times it's like my third shower I ever took there hot water heater goes out you know they come out and they're like yeah yeah it's gonna be six grand I'm like okay Great. Well, that's after I just did the paint, you know, that was astronomical. We did the siding here at this house. You guys don't even want to know how much money I've spent on homes. Interest rates shot up and everyone was puckered up about the election, but um, we are getting a lot of showings now, so it's it's been some relief. And <sighs> these little guys, they are not really even playing here. It's kind of weird. They don't play here at the treehouse like they like they used to. They love the new house. They love the big yard. They love all that stuff. But uh, they've kind of moved on too. It's it's just a it's an odd time. All right, you gonna help us move? Are you strong? Yeah. Let me see your muscles. Mm. <clears throat> there we go. All right. In the kitchen. O S G. This is not my best moment of cooking. <laughs> What are you doing? No, are you doing some... I'm just heating up a pancake for What's bed. What's this? Oh, that's just granola. Granola. My granola wife from Austin, Texas. <laughs> I'm your granola muncher. Hey, at least I'm pretty conservative. That's right. I found a unicorn. 
<laughs> I found a unicorn in Austin, Texas, baby. One of the only. Honey, let's get a check in on your on your sanity. On going, my sanity. Going on. Uh, this is about. What is this? Two and a half, three months. This is three months. This is three months. Three months. Home, home on the market. We're really? ha we're halfway, halfway moved. Yeah, I really think it's almost like five months since the start of it. I don't know. I feel like a part of us have died, mm -hmm. has died. Yeah. Um, this has been what's one of the most stressful times of our marriage. I would feel not that our marriage is in jeopardy or anything like that, but I mean, it's just been it's been such a hard time. Yeah, it's hard oh on the kids. Gosh. It's hard on everybody. It's hard on our like our health. Our health has taken a toll. Um, are you are you sleeping? Are you still sleeping? I, so I I I got up at three. Again last night. So I've been I've been waking up at like three a.m. for about I don't know. I did it for about three weeks in a row. Now I still kind of off and on. I get a little bit of sleep, but I'll just wake up and. Uh, then you start thinking. Yeah, I start thinking. Yeah, you know, I don't like to wake up at that hour. It's the. If you know, you know. It's been it's been one of those. We're just ready to have like one home. You know, it sounds really cool. It's like, oh, we've got two houses. We got two houses and no home. Yeah. And that, that's like that's what stinks. Is like we have no privacy. To... We have no we have no like comfort. Like this is home. We can relax. We can just chill. Yeah, someone's gonna be here knocking at the door in two and, hours and, and, and an hour, and then yeah, when we go over to the other house, we're like working over there. Then we gotta come back, mm -hmm. you know, get Amy to school and all this. So, but we have been over there and we have, I have some great updates for you guys. Um, especially, um, Ooh, the man cave, the man cave is looking spicy. And I the house that's done. And I had my Guggen buddies over there this week and we made some, some pond improvements. So I'm going to take you guys over there for that. Uh, and I mean, we've been little worker bees. I have got a, uh, a monstrous upgrade. Our golf cart's been dead for six months. Had to get it going. Like two years. Two it's years. Like two I'm years. sorry. <laughs> I have a brain tumor and I needed to fix it up. It was all dead and everything. I did the full upgrade to lithium. The thing's a beast now. The white tails, the birds, they've been removed. My office, the desk is completely taken apart. There's nothing in here. Nothing, nothing on the walls. It's, it's gone, ladies and gentlemen. And here's the really frustrating part about being a YouTuber in my situation is I don't have internet at my other house. And it's actually pretty hard to get. And I, I've been begging someone to, you know, give, give me internet. I will pay you money. Please install internet. And they just won't get back with me. Uh, so my internet is here at this house. So that means I have to like drive over here to upload. It's been a mess. Remove the caps for the Facebook marketplace. Money, because we need it. How are you picking this up? Wait, I can't even, I can't even pick it up. I'm going to lean it this way. Get under it. Yep. Come on up. Come on up, buttercup. All right. You got her? I think so. All right, I'm going high. Okay, me too. <sighs> Rubbed all the. This couch is old and cheap. Oh 
no. Oh no. Oh no. Get it off. Uh, I wouldn't wipe it off until we're, we got it moved. It's actually heavier than I remember, so. This couch came from your apartment when we were dating. Yes, this was my first piece of furniture, and it is not a quality piece. We are now passing it on to some other college student. Yep. So, um, hang on to your butts. Here we go again. Round two. Right. I think I might need to take my socks Fight! Off. We did it! We did it! Oh man, my nail. And nobody filed for divorce! My nail got bent. Look at my nail. Tragedy. Oh. I gotta show you guys this because I know a lot of you have golf carts. I just started redoing. The old easy go, it was Halloween. I needed something to get the kids out for trick or treating. We've had this thing, it's been broken down forever. And I had to put some new batteries in it and uh, it's expensive to put in brand new batteries. Um, anyway, Pro Guide has just come out with this, this lithium conversion kit for golf carts and it is the deal. So if you are, uh, I'm gonna throw this out there cause I know a lot of you have carts, but if you're, card is dead or you're looking to upgrade it don't waste your money on doing the old lead acids anymore i mean at least get agms but if if you want to not mess with this thing for like a decade get the lithium conversion kit it's awesome and i went ahead and i, I cleaned this baby up she's looking good looking good and at the new house at the new house we've got the pond back there i want to set up a little 3d archery uh, course, so I'm, I'm planning on using this cart a lot, so I needed to upgrade it. And we just ripped out the old AGMs. I mean, they were weak, they were dying. It was not pretty. We stripped everything out, and we, uh, we're we still working on this. It's a work in, in progress, but this baby is powering the whole deal. This is one battery. So instead of the four, I'm replacing it with a 48 volt, and this powers the whole thing. And I went ahead and I spruced it up a little bit. And we added, this actually comes with a kit. This is your, um, this converts your, your voltage down uh, to 12. And then I put in a little, um, a little accessory box. So I got a fuse panel here. We can, we can put in, you know, lights and different stuff. These are, these are glow lights that I'm actually putting on the bottom. And I'm gonna add some headlights and stuff like that. You know, who who knows? I figured I'd tell you guys about it because I, I know a lot of you have carts. You probably are thinking about the switch to lithium in your bass boat or have already done it. And it's way better in a golf cart because I mean, you just use so much more of that power and you get a 10 year warranty. So Pro Guide's got it going on with that conversion kit. And uh, they also have an LCD display that comes with it and a power switch on and off so you can see exactly what's going on you can see the voltage right there 53 volts not using anything right now and you can cut it off right there keeps that safe and i'll have a link to the pro guide site down below if you guys want to check them out it's what i use in my silver bullet now using it in the golf cart shop around but the other reason i wanted to show you guys this cart we did a little bit of let's just say aggressive actions off the uh, off the concrete path and this rod right here do you see that rod Let's see if i can get a i need to get a good good angle on this this is bent that is bent right there i don't know if you guys can tell it's definitely uh it's definitely bent and uh it's causing a lot of wobbling some you know alignment issues can someone please tell me what that is and what i need to do to fix it because I, i'm probably about to take this thing in 
you know, I don't want a, a huge bill. If it's something I can do myself, I want to do it myself. Just pulling up to the new crib. And first thing we're gonna do is do a water test. Got me a clear water, or clear water bottle. And we're going to take a sampling of the pond. Just looking around here on the ground. Oh my gosh. My gosh. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. The deer back here have been insane. And uh, there was actually one sleeping in the front yard the other night, so crazy. So lots of neighborhood deer, love to see it. Love to see it. Maybe they'll come and eat tortillas out of my hand one day. Some of my Guggen boys came over here. We sained the pond. We did an official check and it turns out it was full of bluegill. So when you guys saw me fishing this pond, I thought I was hitting rocks. I was like, oh, it's got a hard bottom. That'd be great for like a gravel spawn area. It wasn't rocks, it was so many small bluegill hitting my crankbait, and I just never hooked any of them. So when we swept it with the seine net, you know, we caught dozens of them. We probably caught 40, 50 bluegills, and we bought some bass. We got a couple different kinds of bass. We got some catfish. Turns out there are already some catfish in here, just real tiny ones, like those little yellow cats. And we put in some other bait fish. We put in a couple of like big bluegill. We, uh, uh, we, put, we put in like a few hundred, you know, fathead minnows and stuff like that. But um, I did ask when I was up there, a uh, place is called Pond King, I asked them, oh my gosh, look at this. Sorry to interrupt. It's just like deer tracks everywhere. After the rain, you can just see them. I asked for a solution for getting some clear water in the pond, and I was told you need to try gypsum. But first, what you need to do is get you a glass or water bottle, fill it up, set it on a, on a table or counter, and just let it sit for a little while and see what happens. And if the water clears up on its own, then your pond water is probably gonna clear up on its own. I don't think it's going to, but we're gonna perform this experiment anyway, because sometimes there's something under the water, let's say you have a bunch of turtles or you know carp or something in there, that can stir up your pond and constantly keep it turbid. So we're gonna take a little water sampling here and see what happens. That's pretty gnarly right there. That's just off the surface, not stirring anything up. It's pretty bad. So, and this is after putting in uh, some algae, algae blockers, some blue dye, everything like that. We've just had a bunch of rain, but honestly the pond color hasn't changed hardly at all. So. I'm gonna take this inside, we'll let it sit on the counter, see if we get, get any change. And I Would you just look at her in her new home? Looking great. This is gonna be perfect for zipping around to the pond, going to the woods, carrying brush, doing yard stuff. Zipping around the neighborhood, it's gonna be great here. I put a little deer trail cam out, I spread some corn, it was just insane how many deer. I was trying to see if a hog would come back because I had a hog on camera, and I don't think it ever really did, but there were so many, um, so many animals and so many bucks that came and just like messed up the camera. So it's, it was sitting on a little tree. I need to move it. Um, it's, it's been a week or two, so I'm just gonna take some corn down there. We're gonna respread and see if, uh, see if any piglets come. Um, and I have started to see the deer coming through the yard in the morning. And it's pretty cool. You know, a few times I've been here, wake up, go out, and there's deer just like either coming in. They kind of come in and uh, they sleep in people's yards. They eat the grass, you know, they just hang out. And they go back into the woods during the day. And they kind of like to use um, my little trail back here. So we're probably going to spook some deer when we go back here.
All right, this is where I put the corn out and there's not a lick of it left. So I think I'm actually just gonna put it up by the pond. That's where I saw the hog in the first place coming to drink by the pond. But there's something else I gotta show you guys. That is a full-blown flowing creek now. And I would not be surprised if there's fish to be caught in there now. moved our trail cam over by the pond. I also moved some brush out there with the golf cart, just random limbs after a storm. So it's already coming in handy, but I got to show you guys the man cave. Let's go ahead and flip on some lights. Threw a couple of chairs up here. Me and Steph got some, some shelves back here. We've got our, our ducks up on the wall. That's actually Stephanie's white-tailed deer right there that we uh, harvested with the family. Of course, we got our big bass. We've got a couple of bucks right here. Some good looking bucks, man. Good looking bucks. And then we come over here. Bull tar. Bull tar up on the fireplace. And we've got, we moved Uncle Herschel over here. He's under the lights. And we've got our, our low fence. Uh, 149 inch deer right there. Very, very nice. We've got, uh, we moved our little coffee table in here from today with a little white tail on it. It's actually my first deer that I ever harvested right there. There's a lot of firsts in here. And we've got some, some various other, other little things in the nooks. Got a water buck right there, random water buck. Got some of the bows that I've built up here on the mantle. We've got, we've got a bow that I built that's got a snakeskin backing. It's pretty cool. Just going up there on the mantle, just putting some various stuff. Some of my uh, my little treats. This is the antlers off of my self bow, my first self bow archery harvest. And I've actually got the arrow, the arrow up here, the tip of the arrow on there as well. Kept that baby. Yeah, just keeping some binos, you know, just kind of look around. Look around at the deers in the backyard, but man, oh yeah, and my first, my first buck ever, right here. A lot of memories, a lot of stories, just some, some really cool, some of the stuff that you guys have made me in the past, some LFG gear, um, just, you know, paraphernalia from dangles and hunting trips around the world, really. And then down here, we moved our Oklahoma buck. So he's looking, he's looking pretty good on the limestone wall. Uncle Herschel, he got, he got booted out because the back of his, uh, his pedestal mount was not, not looking very, very pleasing. There's another mystery in here with the crickets. There are crickets everywhere. They are taking over the place. I don't know how they're getting in, but they're getting in. And right now there's probably a good dozen crickle, crick, crickets just spaced around the house. I think the best solution to that is to get the chickens over here and let them start eating the crickets. And another thing, when you walk out to the pond, the crickets just start jumping into the pond and there was really tiny bluegill in there before. Now there's bluegill big enough in there to eat those and the bass, the bass that are in there. They're mm, probably about eight to 12 inches long. Like they're, they're ready to go. Like they're, they're ready to eat a spitter bait. But I'm gonna wait to fish it. I'm gonna let the kind of the ecosystem get settled and maybe try to get some gypsum or something to uh, clear up that water. So let's go see our water bottle that we filled up. Basically zero change to the water. And you know, the hours that it has been here I'll let it sit another day, but I, I, it's, that sucker ain't gonna clear up. 
in the, in the Guggen video, guys, that you will see, I got, actually got out there in waders, and it is pretty deep, like up to my chest, if you go all the way out to the middle. So there's, there's plenty of water in there, but it's murky. And even though this move has been rougher than corn cobs, I still know that it is for the better. I just want to get situated in one house, make it a home, and just get the family, get the family going again. I mean, I just, I just feel like I've been living all over the place, and I haven't, uh, I just haven't had a place to settle, you know. And that, that in itself is stressful. And my responsibility as a dad, as a husband, has been to just make sure that the family is, is secure. And I think we're finally getting to a place where, you know, we're, we're gonna fully move over here quite soon and I'm ready to venture out again. I'm ready to get out there into a tree. I am ready to get out there on the lake. I cannot wait to bring the first harvest home. So that is the vlog update. Positive thinking, positive things will happen. Many blessings to you, your family, and your future outdoor adventures hopefully coming up soon. I know mine are, and I'll see you guys. Next